This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. YouTube, what is up? I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh. Back at you, finally. Been about two and a half weeks or so. I'm sorry. That's all I can say, is I'm sorry. I know I left you guys hanging with the end of that giveaway. Well, I've got three boxes ready to go out to three very lucky winners. We'll get to that in a few moments. First, we got a bit of a juice review, a bit of a build into the Vaporous RDA, and we're in the process of evaluating the Revenger kit, which topper I kind of broke, kind of had a fall, and it might still work, I might still be able to use it, but for the time being, I'm still evaluating the mod itself. So, we'll get back to it. I've got a couple other things I'm working on too, but we're going to start this one out with what's in here. Green. This is Vaping Swag's line of juices. Vaping Swag is the company that actually houses Coil Wars t-shirts. If you're looking to get your hands on a Coil Wars t-shirt from season one, which was back in you know August, the last year is when it started. Uh, so coming up on almost a year since Coil Wars began uh, and the end of Civil Wars, which is just basically I'm waiting for a bit of footage and I am uh, hoping for a bit of footage. Fingers crossed on that bit of footage. I'm hoping, hoping I'll have that bit of footage. And from there, we'll wrap up Civil Wars and get the ball rolling on the next thing, whatever that might be. We'll see how it goes. Green, as I recall from earlier today, because this is actually the second time I'm making this video, the first one didn't go so well. I'm out of practice. That's what happens when you don't put out a video for two and a half weeks. <laughs> you get out of practice. Uh, green is a tapioca pudding with green tea. These flavors are weird, Sean. Really weird, man, I gotta say. They threw me for a loop. First time I shot the video, I was guessing for everyone before we went and looked at the flavors. I gotta tell you, I got almost every single one wrong because they're not your usual bit of flavors. And these are all zero nick. I have to tell you, they're really, really flavorful for zero nick. And it's right on the money, the green one. They're not all right on the money, but the green one, right on the money. This liquid is a sweet vanilla milk bubble tea. A nice sweet milk base with an earthy green tea finished with a subtle tapioca. A unique liquid that everyone needs to try once. I like green tea vapes. I do. That's the truth. I've always liked green tea vapes. And I like this one. It's actually an excellent, excellent rendition of a green tea. It's definitely earthy like the box says. Savory almost. I kind of wish it had been ice cream. I think like a green tea ice cream. I want to see someone come out with a green tea ice cream. I think that's what I'm saying. But the tea, I don't get it as a, I'm not sure how you define bubble tea. I guess I haven't had bubble tea before. I don't know. But the tapioca pudding, yeah, I definitely get that. And I definitely get the green tea aspect. It's really good. Where have I been the last couple weeks, right? And why haven't you heard from me? Well, um, I've been, you know, I've, I've been busy. I've had th some things going on, personal matters. The cat died. Um, there's one thing, one of the cats died. Uh, just out of the blue, um, r my wife called me, she was rushing her to the hospital, had white gums, so she was anemic. Turned out she had a big old tumor. We had no idea. You know, cats, the thing about cats is that they're tough. They hide it really well when they're not feeling well. She's always been kind of a wallflower kind of pet, you know? You know she kept to herself, mostly. Hard to compete in the house with a lot of personalities. Our, our pets, they, for the most part, they have big personalities, especially the dog. Uh, another pet had to take me to the doctor. I've been to the doctor. One of those trips to the woods, I came back with a couple ticks, so I had to get checked for Lyme disease. Got a ticket the other day, so I gotta go to court tomorrow. Early. It's been blah, it's been a lot of stuff. Not all of it bad, some of it's good. You know, like we're planning a trip to Seattle, so that's gonna be cool. We're actually, it's like a last minute trip to Seattle. 
we ended up getting like some really good prices on flights. Um, we, we've been, we've always wanted to go to Seattle, so we've never really been West Coast, let alone the Pacific Northwest. So we're we're stoked. It's going to be a lot of fun. So that's this weekend, actually. So we're we've been rushing around planning that, going shopping for some extra some new luggage and doing this and doing that. We've been really really busy. We we don't have like a hotel though. <laughs> Apparently, although the flights were a bit cheaper, the hotel is not. So we're kind of gonna fly by the seat of our pants and do Hotel Tonight every night, basically. In the Hotel Tonight app, it gives you like cheap hotel deals the, the night of, pretty much, and the week up to. But of course, if you want the really good deals, you have to wait till the night of. So fingers crossed we're not sleeping on the street, right? Right, anyway. Purple. Purple's a grape with a bit of menthol. I think it's more of a cool out of the menthol, but. It's definitely more up Waffles Alley than it is mine, definitely. But I like that the menthol is like way in the back and it's very, very subtle. That's my kind of menthol. Like I don't like a big menthol in your face. I like it way back and chilled out that way. That's a nice menthol. It's more than just menthol though. There's more stuff in here that I didn't pick up on and I'm still not picking up on it now. It is this, says this liquid is a mix of tart grape, refreshing apple, and an undertone of sweet ripe strawberries. It is finished off with a small touch of menthol and a tart additive to pop the assorted fruit flavors and give a more refreshing mouthfeel. I think the, the pop is pomegranate. That's what I think it is. I think it's like a touch of pomegranate. Tastes like a girly drink. That's what it tastes like. Waffles likes it. So, amidst all that, Seattle and the cat and the dog and this and that, I've been out and about with the big head dog a bit. I've taken stuff with me to shoot. Like, I keep wanting to get like nice photographs of you know, some products with, you know, the, in, the, in the woods or, you know, we haven't just been to the forest. We've been out to the forest a couple more times. We went to like another bit of trails with another forest and we had a really good time there. Probably gonna go back there again soon. I wanted to go tonight, but it's hard because I keep oversleeping. Like I really want to make it like a twice weekly kind of thing, me and him going out, but I keep oversleeping and it becomes more of a once a week kind of thing. So doing what I can though. I'm trying to make it twice a week. Um, I also would like to take some of the other dogs too, but he's just such a good walker, you know? Two of our dogs are really bad at pulling, like really bad. Pull until they're like choking themselves basically. And it's like, I don't want to walk with them. I don't want to walk with one of them like that. That just doesn't sound like fun to me. And the other one, he's a good walker, but he's really tiny legs and he just moves so slow. And I don't think I could take him for more than like a mile, maybe two miles max, maybe. And me and the big head dog, we do about five miles when we go. So uh, we went to the West Ashley Greenway, which was boring as fuck. So on one side, it's the backs of store buildings. And on the other side, it's like people's backyards. I might go biking there. Biking there could be cool. Like when the weather gets a little bit cooler, I might go biking with the waffles there. I think that would be fun, but uh, I don't think I'd walk there again. Also had some fun with some street photography. I've always wanted to try it, like try it, you know, back when I was in high school, I would, you know, bring my camera with me and I'd take the occasional photograph of, you know, some rando or whatever. But, you know, I've never really gone out with the intention of scoring like street photos. Eh, not a long time anyway but I, I wanted to try it again. And I realized it made me feel like a fucking creeper. <laughs> like it made me feel like I was some freaky Jason motherfucker with a camera and just like being creepy, sneaking up on people and taking their photographs when they weren't looking or when their backs were turned or whatever. And you know, the way that women would look at me when I was t with the camera was like, who's this creepo dude with the camera? Is he gonna flash me when he takes my picture too? I didn't really like taking pictures of women, but I like taking pictures of dudes because a little bit less weird. It's weirder for me. 
because <laughs> it's weird for me because they, what, in my experience, when I'm trying to take pictures of dudes, it's like they want to have their picture taken by me. <laughs> they got no problem posing or they got no problem me like walking up to them. I'm making eye contact with them and they either just, you know, assume the same pose that they're in or they turn around to have their picture taken. I don't know, guys got have egos or something. I don't know what it is, but they're really easy to photograph. Passing by somebody and I'll snap their photo or some street vendor will be harassing me and uh, I'll, you know, say I'm local, you know, whatever. I'm not, well, you know, some tourist who wants to buy your, you know, your rose. No, but I'll take your picture. <laughs> Rico, the rose guy. And some, some cool skateboard looking dude who's egotistical enough to look at me, see him taking his picture, and then just go right back off to staring in space. And then when I'm done, you know, have a little nod with each other. <laughs> Guys are easy to photograph. They don't give a fuck. They just like it. They got egos. Blue. It's blueberry. It's blueberry something or other. It's not like a blueberry muffin though. I don't know what the fuck it is. I forgot what the description said. But I know it was blueberry. It was blueberry and there's something tart in there as well. It's rich. It's very rich vape on the blue. I feel like they're crayons. Like they remind me of crayons for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's just like the colors. You know, their colors are red, they're green, they're blue, they're purple, and they're, you know, they're, they're in tiny little 15 milliliter um, gorilla bottles. So I kind of feel like they're some kind of a... Uh... What's blue? Let's see. What is blue? This liquid tours the world. We start with an all natural extract of sun-kissed Maine blueberries. Next comes a juicy Ohio Bartlett pear. On the back end, enjoy a hint of Costa Rican bananas. The last trip is Ireland with an added splash of Irish cream to bring the whole concoction together. It's good. I like it more this time than I did the first time I had it. I don't get the banana. I don't get that shit at all. I don't get the banana. I get the blueberry. I get the Irish cream, but it's very subtle. You could use more Irish cream. Irish cream and blueberry could be really good. That's a good idea. Yeah, we're not big drinkers, me and waffles. It's not really our thing, but I like, you know, liqueur kind of vapes. You know, I always have. This build is just a simple fuse clapped in coil in the Vaporous RDA, which is by Watofo, who gave me the build mat, which I am just wrecking with my soggy cotton. <laughs> and I built this uh, simple fuse clapped in on. It's uh, two strands of 26 gauge fused with 40 gauge.
a lot of it has been just me, you know, obsessing about not liking what I'm doing here on this channel enough. And that's the honest truth. I could have filmed a number of different times. I could have brought you guys with me into the forest and had a chat with you any number of times. It was just, you know, I've just been obsessing about not being thrilled with the content that I'm putting out and just having sort of an existential crisis on the state of the channel and what I'm putting out into the community. I, I, that's always been, you know, at the forefront of my mind is doing what's best for, you know, the community, um, putting out the best content that I can. And it's always been a battle ever since I started two years ago. And that's the thing, I don't feel like I'm a seasoned channel. I still feel like I'm, you know, a newbie at this at heart. You know, I don't feel like a veteran or anything like that. I feel like I'm wet behind the ears in a lot of ways. Damn it, I did it again. I fucking did it again. How long have I been, fil been not filming? Well, only about three minutes. That's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, that's the other reason I'm reshooting because in the last video, yeah, there was 10 minutes of, uh, of dead camera. <laughs> the audio was going, but there was nothing on the camera. So if I, if you lost me there for a second, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm back now. <laughs> I, as I'm now getting used to shooting with a Nikon as opposed to shooting with my, you know, my Sony friend. It actually stops filming every 20 minutes. So that takes getting used to. I don't know, maybe it was this string of products that I've been getting lately and it's all just one thing after another and it's the same and the same and the same and the same and here's a velocity style deck with a different design on it. Here's another mod that does all these kinds of temperature control but you know you're gonna need a firmware update before you can use it by the way. Come on. Sometimes I will film a desk mode for two hours just to find out that when I fire the product up, it ain't fucking working right. I don't know what the right thing is to do anymore. Is the right thing to do just to come over here and start bitching about the product right away? Or should I email the company first and ask them about it? Like, hey guys, you know this product you sent me, it, sh it, sh it, it says check atomizer on every fucking poll that I do on it. It works for 10 minutes and then it stops working. What's the deal? So I do that and then they come back and say, you know, there's a firmware update that's gonna fix the fucking thing. So now I need to just wait for your firmware update to come to me so I can do this. Well, we sent you two of them. Is the other one working? I don't even wanna check at that point. I'm just so frustrated. That kind of shit pisses me off. You know, when they're, when a product comes in that's not working, that doesn't do what they say it does, that the simple act of firing an atomizer doesn't fucking work and I've spent two hours filming a desk mode and making it look all cinematic and awesome and then it doesn't fucking work. That'll turn you off to making a video real quick. So there's that. I haven't been impressed with a lot of things. I, I feel like a lot of things have just been very lackluster lately. Sometimes the stuff I get sent is just junk. Maybe I just have a higher standard than most people, I don't know. And there's a lot to be said about being honest in reviews and saying when a product is shit, but and when it's so shitty that I don't even want to fucking use it long enough to fucking review it, well, well, I've used it for 10 minutes. I've written the company. They say there's a firmware update, but you know what? Why should I push through a fucking firmware update just to make it fire? The orange. The orange is a nice tart orange. Now it was really funny, when I was filming this the first time, I thought it was just an orange creamsicle kind of thing. It's like I'm completely off, completely off. <laughs> this liquid is fresh from the oven, cranberry orange bread. The sweet citrus is balanced by the tart cranberries. The bread is a sweet soft bread that makes everything blend together in a harmonious flavor blast. I don't get that. I don't, maybe the cranberries. I kind of get the cranberries, like oranges and cranberries together, has that kind of uh, tart, bitter kind of vibe to it. Very tart, very bitter. But I totally thought it was an orange creamsicle kind of thing. And I still get that. I don't get a bakery element here. 
just tart, very tart orange juice, almost like a little bit past its prime kind of orange juice, but not in an overly bad way, just and it's right in the verge kind of orange juice with a bit of cranberry. So it's a little bit, maybe a little bit like vodka and orange juice too at the same time. As far as an orange, if you told me it was orange dreamsicle, I'd believe you. If you. Told me orange Julius, I'd believe you. If you tell me orange bread with cranberries, eh, I don't know about that. It's good though. I gotta say, I've been having a lot of fun filming today. I've filmed this review twice now, and I've had a good time doing it both times. And on top of that, I, uh, I started a couple other reviews, and I had a fucking blast filming those, so... I'm happy to say I'm back. Um, now, I just need to see some better products. <laughs> I don't know if I'll honestly get to all the products that I was recently sent. Um, I haven't replied to emails in the past month or so. Uh, so I gotta see if there's anything interesting in the, uh, in the inbox. So if you're a ma manufacturer or whatever and you're watching this, you're wondering why I haven't gotten back to you, well, I'll be going through my emails in the next day or two and uh, replying to any back emails because like I said a lot of the stuff that I was sent recently I really wasn't very thrilled with really just kind of don't even want to look at it long enough to review it to be honest with you but I would like to see some new products I want to see something wow me bring it okay that's what I need to see I need to see some new products that fucking wow me is that so much to ask anyway yellow That's way better than this time than last time. I really didn't like it the first time. This was like, I said some nasty things about this juice. I was actually saving it for last so it wouldn't just spoil my palate, but I said some nasty things about this juice the first time I filmed this, but I have to say, I feel better about it now. The pineapple is nice this time. Um, the first time I really didn't like it at all. I said it, I, I compared it to like a, a pina colada drink mix that had gone bad or something. I don't remember. I really didn't like it the first time, but this time I'm actually much happier with it. Yeah, it's pineapple and coconut, which, you know, resonates with me as pina colada, but it's a lot better this time than, I, than it was the first time for me. This liquid starts out with a bold, tart pineapple. It is then drenched in cream, followed by a splash of coconut to round things out. This is an extra sweet treat that goes very good with a full-bodied cup of coffee. I can't see how it would go good with coffee. That doesn't make any sense to me. How does pina colada go well with coffee? I don't know about that, man. That just sounds weird. All right. Anyway, Vaping Swag Originals, it's their, his line, uh, Shane Preston over at VapingSwag.com. And while you're there, pick up a Coil Wars t-shirt. Okay? Okay. Anyway, on to the giveaway. Inside these three boxes, I have giveaway goodness for three lucky winners. Um, there are hats. There's shirts. Everyone has hats and shirts. One each. Um, there's hats from, there's shirts and hats from Watofo, from Dinner Lady, from AS Vape. Another review that is coming down the road is by AS Vape. Looking forward to that one. I've got mech mods in each box. There are regulated box mods in each box. There are RTAs, RDAs. There's coils in each box. There's products from Coil Art, products from Vandy Vape, products from Geek Vape products from Ude, uh, coils from Ude, coils from Coil Art. Everyone's getting pretty much awesome stuff. And inside each box as well is a starter kit for you to pass on to a friend, neighbor, a relative, someone who you want to get off 
the stinkies, okay? So pass it on to someone who could use it if you can. If you want to keep it, you can keep it, but I think someone else might have a bit better use for it than you will. So I decided to include one of those in each box. One's by Kanger, one's by Cray, or whatever the fuck it is. One is by, um, I forget who the last one. Eleaf. Eleaf. Thank you, Waffles. Eleaf. Eleaf is the last one. I just, you know, if I've seen one, if you see me do one starter kit review, you see me do a bunch of them, and I just thought, I don't need to review these. I've kind of seen each one of them in one form or another, and I thought that someone else could get some better use out of it. Again, I'm going to be replying to my backlog of emails shortly, and I'm going to be a bit more selective in what I agree to review from now on. Anyway, let's get on to the drawing. Drum roll, please. And the winners are two from the Patreon account, uh, Brendan Bond and Josh Cofield. And the third winner is Louis Miguel Bichara, who's from Dubai. I have to ship to Dubai. You're paying for shipping, Dubai. <laughs> so is everyone else. <laughs> but yeah, Dubai. Uh, congratulations, guys. You are the winners of the 40,000 subscriber giveaway. Thank you guys so much for 40,000 subscribers. If you three haven't already received an email from me, you will be very shortly, and I'll be asking you for your address, your ID, and once I have that, I'll be getting back to you once again with PayPal information so you can pay me for shipping. Once I know where, you're, where you live, I can have that, and, and we can move this forward. Anyway. Uh, I appreciate all the things you guys do, the likes, the comments, the shares, all that good stuff. You guys are awesome. Two more ways that you can support the channel. I have a list of affiliate links in the description on every video, and there is a Patreon account that you can contribute to as well if you feel so inclined. You guys are awesome. Till next time, I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh. Vape on, vapors.